Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how you can earn Robux on Roblox through, obviously, game development. So if you don't know where to start, then this is the ideal video for you. So the first thing you need to do is pick a trade. Now, a trade is basically something that you learn along the way, which can earn you money. Now, all of these trades um, make different amounts of Robux, okay? And they're also not as equally challenging when it comes to the learning curve. The first trade you could learn is scripting. Now, what is scripting? It's basically when you type out the words, uh, which means you need to actually memorize and learn an entire programming language. Okay, so this makes it much, much, much more difficult to learn than the other trades, in my opinion. But of course, there are some people who find other trades easier to learn. This is usually the highest paid trade out there, usually being paid in the hundreds of thousands of Robux for large projects. The second trade you could learn is building. So what building basically is, is actually constructing the worlds that you play in, okay? So like building houses, um, maybe making a well or something. But the challenge with this is, um, there's a new trend on Roblox right now. Um, you don't just use the Roblox tools anymore, you actually use external software such as Blender to make 3D models, hence uh, the term 3D modeling. So what this does is basically increase the difficulty of learning building, but overall it is a very well paid um, trade, however not as highly paid usually as scripting. Now. Builders usually contribute a lot to a game, hence they get large portions of the profit when a game is made. Now, the third trade you could pick up is graphics. So, graphics designers basically uh, design, well, the graphics, the, um, the thumbnails, the icons, the game passes, sometimes the user interfaces in your games. These people are responsible for um, well, they make or break a game because if you have bad graphics, the chances are that uh, your game will not do well because it will not attract a lot of players. So this is a key um, trait to learn if you want to make games on your own. But uh, if you want to be a graphics designer, you could easily set up a portfolio um, and make money that way because they make a lot of money. That is obviously if you have a customer base. Another trade you could pick up is animation design or animating or whatever you want to call it, okay? So basically animators, as they're called, go around making game animations. So that could range from basically um, the way a dinosaur walks in a game or the way you shoot a gun and it recoils or maybe, uh, you know, the way you jump or how you walk. Those are all animations, okay? Um, now, animating is not as lucrative as the previous trades I just mentioned, but uh, you could still make a pretty good penny if you, uh, you know, get a good portfolio going and a customer base. It is also paramount that I mentioned that you do not have to use the in-house Roblox animation editor plugin, okay? Because it could do well if you um, if you want to make basic animations, but you also could use external applications such as Blender, uh, in which case your life would obviously be more difficult because you'd have to learn new software, but you would make much, much, much better animation. There are several ways you could get customers. So the key thing to take away from this is you need a customer base. So you get returning customers. If you get returning customers, that means you don't have to go out and look for customers every time you want work. People will come to you automatically. Um, and that way you also build up reputation. Um, so the primary ways you could get a customer is either through Discord, so like someone messages you for your services, or you join a popular Discord server such as Hidden Developers, um, and either find someone who's looking for your specific type of service. So like if you're a graphics designer, you look for someone who's lo looking for graphic work, okay? Or you post your work in that server and hope that someone messages you back uh, looking for your services, okay? You could also join Roblox games such as Group Recruiting Plaza in which you could advertise your services or 
Alternatively, you could opt for a more professional route by signing up for like uh, Fiverr, for example. So while you're doing commissions, you might come across people who might try and cheat you. So the first and most prominent example of this is when someone asks for your services and you, you make whatever they want you to make and you give it to them, but they don't pay you back. So the, um, the primary thing people who commission um, usually do is they ask for payment either beforehand or they ask for a bit of payment like 25% down payment on the commission. So that way, even if they do scam you, um, well, obviously you could either sell whatever you made to other people or whatever you want to do really, but at least you would have gotten some Robux. Um, another type of scam, I guess, is people often um, post about wanting to do large projects and they never really have the funds. Um, so they, they go on about how they want to make a big game and this and that, but they never quite have the Robux, so they offer you a percentage payment of the profits. Now, I'm not saying that um, whoever does this is a scammer. No, obviously they are not scammers, but um, what need to be alert of here is the way some people use this mechanic to scam people. So they'll get you to do a lot of work and once you're done, either they'll just kick you off the team and you won't get any percentage of the profits or um, you kind of play yourself, I guess, because you believe in a game uh, as you should, obviously, and you decide to work on it, but um, the game never really makes any money. So while you did spend a lot of time and you didn't earn any or any significant amount of Robux, um, at least you gained experience. So you should be really, really aware of how to avoid stuff like that. Establishing a presence is a key part in making more Robux on Roblox. So as I mentioned previously, if you have a customer base, people will come to you for services instead of you looking for people to hire you, which means you can spend more time working and less time finding people to work for. So um, establishing a presence is basically key to get more customers and more orders. So what I mean by establishing a presence is creating, for example, a Twitter page and posting your, um, your work on there, your graphic art or your cool scripting things or whatever, you know, anything which could help promote you and showcase your skill you would post on Twitter, for example. Um, and when people come across your Twitter, they say, hey, this person is pretty good at what she or he does. Um, so I think I'm just going to hire them. And it is important that you add your Discord um, in the description so they can contact you whenever they want, okay? Or whenever they need to contact you. Um, another, another thing is a portfolio. So a portfolio on the dev forum would be instrumental in getting you more robux because it is a uh, it's an official sort of staple showing all your work in one place okay so if you're a graphics designer you could opt to use the dev forum or like deviant art for example but um you could use whatever you want really you just need to show off your work now after acquiring the skills needed to make some robux you could also up to learn more skills such as if you only learned graphics you could also learn building scripting whatever you want really and you could make a game by putting all of those skills together you could also hire more people and make bigger projects which make bigger amounts of robux or you could keep doing commissions for a living but i i'm gonna tell you from experience that is very stressful but if you can manage that then you can make a lot of robux so in conclusion, I suggest that you pick a trade, you stick to it, get customers and build a customer base, make a lot of Robux and build a presence while you're doing all that by using some sort of social media uh, platform such as Twitter or uh, the Dev Forum, for example. And as always, never give up. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked this video. Um, please subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.